Welcome to A Bill A Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Most Democrats want to raise the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, while most Republicans want to keep it where it currently is at $7.25 an hour. Could there be a halfway compromise? A few Republicans say that there is, and they've introduced a new bill in Congress called the Higher Wages for American Workers Act, which would increase the federal minimum wage to $10 an hour. About midway between the 725 where it currently is and the 15 that most Republicans want. Uh, the new minimum wage would be phased in over four years, not implemented right away, which uh, its supporters say would be uh, too much of a shock to the system. And then it would be adjusted for inflation every two years after that. Uh, the bill would also ban any increase in the federal minimum wage during the COVID-19 national emergency. Supporters say that the economy is in too delicate of a situation <clears throat> right now during this national emergency for any major economic changes. Uh, the bill was introduced in the Senate by Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton. Now, supporters argue that the bill provides an effective compromise between the current minimum wage, which they say is too low, and a $15 an hour minimum wage, which they say would be too high, especially for small businesses to weather. But opponents come on both ends of the political spectrum. Uh, on the left, Democrats say that even an increase to $10 an hour would still be uh, a starvation wage, to use uh, Senator Bernie Sanders' phrase. And many Republicans want to maintain the status quo. They say that any increase in the federal minimum wage would uh, bankrupt a lot of small businesses and increase the unemployment rate. Well, look, in the rap song, Right Round, uh, the rapper Flo Rider said, quote, it's time to get paid the maximum wage. And uh, the jury's still out on how this bill would affect the maximum wage.